is required for a wheelchair accessibility so in this we are going to see many cases and we are going to draw a plan over here so first of all let's draw the minimum spaces that is required for any wheelchair access and uh, also manual uh, 360 degree rotation so that is uh, 1200 by 1200 mm uh, as you can see a box over uh, right over here and let's uh, make a wall over here which is let's say 200 uh, 200 will be very less let's just stretch it over here offset we're going for here right there six is too less offset right back yeah and as you can see the dimensions over here are in architecture so when you are using a uh, millimeters you should keep it in decimal or engineering units so that will be easier for you to you know to access or to use it so that's the basic rule okay so after that the minimum space required for uh the the door to uh, accommodate is also 1200 uh, mm which is uh, like uh, four feet so we'll keep it right over same as over there we'll make a wall right over here also we're going to connect it so as you can see over here this is going to be the minimum space that we are going to uh indicate by a solid hatch and by a color let's say yellow yellow will be good with uh we'll just increase the transparency i think we'll change the yellow i think this will look uh, nicer this will look nicer it just decrease the uh, transparency and this look good so after this we are going, what we are going to do is we are also going to uh, make a red circle right in the middle of it to specify the which will be 500 this will uh that means this is a 360 degree rotational area of the uh wheelchair that will appear so here we'll take this iso nice line right over here we are going to do, okay and what we are going to do is we're going to select that iso and we are going for properties and increase the uh length pitch area Let's say 10 maybe good yeah 10 looks good so here we are going for 10 and here we're going to have a door so for door i'm, I'm going for my uh for my regular blocks which i have it over here we're also going to uh going to use this so let's just take this also with us so it will be easier so as you can see this blocks of mine uh, if you had seen my older videos then this all are in feet and inches and right now we are working in uh millimeters so and we'll also need a wheelchair i think this is this is the this is the best one right this is, yeah okay okay this looks good okay this will be right over here yeah this fits perfect this fits perfect we are going to rotate it Right, yes. Uh, we're going to put our doors, which is the pull side and the push side. Uh, as you know, we will have to scale this door over here. So there is another uh, another option also. If I see my video, then the option is align. Align tool is very easy. Just specify the two points that you want to align. Press enter, and you, they will ask about the scale. The uh, if you want to scale the object on the point, press yes, and that's it. Your uh, door is right over there. And let's just put the person also, so it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. All right. Okay. So then this will go ahead, and this will. This is going to repeat itself right over here because we are going to have a turn over here. So that's also an, uh, uh, a case there where we we need to have a turn also. So let's say the 200 is good for here also. 
we're going to extend this wall line right right over there we're also going to extend this line right over here but we don't want this line so yeah offset 200 looks good yeah and this is nice extend this line okay and uh, we are going to extend this line also over here till here for now so this also tells that this is there is a there is enough space for a person to man over here we are going to show a side approach right over here which will be uh let's say private door which will look uh, nice we're going to offset this also by 1200 which is the minimum spaces that you have to give again we are going to scale it with our align command we're going to select the object press press bar then align the two points that you want to uh, scale and uh, press enter press yes and yeah Here you go this is a two-way door so let's just mirror this thing uh, from here yeah yes and we're just going going to set this over here as it was we're going to have a dotted right right over here so we can't have a dotted line over here we're going to erase this as we don't want it mm -hmm. perfect the pivot doors look perfect yeah okay we're going to add a line over here okay this looks good we're going to add a line right over here which is the threshold area which also is going to be a part of our thing so again this thing is going to get repeated it always has to get repeated that uh, there has to be the minimum spaces that are required to enter anything so as you know this is i think this is enough so right over here we are going to give a double door so we don't want this here i'm going to have a double door over there which is a uh, like two-way door i'm going to align that thing again over yeah yes and the second point we're going to align it over here and yes scale it yes this is not in block so first of all we are going to put this in block Whatever name doesn't matter and uh, we are going to mirror it it from here uh, yes delete object source and then the threshold line comes and yeah that's it so this thing is going to get repeated on the outside of the of this area and after this uh, a ramp uh, we are going to add a ramp over there we'll just put this thing uh, okay not this why is this selected okay we, we went in 3d just to control z if this uh, such things happens so we'll just uh, bring it to front the door is in front okay and then we're going to have a ramp in the 2000 i think this much is okay just for reference because here we're just going to we are going to write a ratio which is 1 is to 12 uh, and yeah that's it here we're going to make an arrow to know that this is a ramp which is right over here and okay We'll put this and over here too, which is over here, yeah. And this looks perfect to me. Uh, this we'll show it over here too. Maybe we'll show it at a different angle, which is at a very slight 45 degree, maybe. And this is going to be placed over here. And this thing is going to be repeated on the inside too because it is a pivot door. So this thing is going to be over here too. Yeah, perfect. And let's put this thing at the back. Perfect. And bring our block in front. 
okay this looks good now now what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to hatch the walls also let's why not uh, so, yes yes this is uh, going for solid and uh, it is a wall so let's go with gray and uh, okay that's it uh, that this looks good this is uh I think we'll uh, keep this also a two-way door. It will look better. It will look no. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a full side, push side. That all things you have to write. The think uh, technically all things are covered. Now we'll uh, give the dimensional spaces. Like the dimensions like from where to where these things are you know, we'll turn on the ortho and also we are going to specify some specific uh, dimension sizes okay that is properties like code properties okay line looks good arrow is okay arrow size is should be bigger let's do one and it looks good i think 200 is a little bit bigger so 150 yeah 150 looks perfect uh then uh, the text has to be above centered this has to be above the height has to be again once so, uh, let's do it 100 and it looks good and this thing has to the precision has to be zero this is okay and yeah that's it these properties we are going to copy paste on all the all the all everywhere so here we'll also write in feet and inches so contractors that doesn't know uh, the mm things will use the feed inches because the thing is that we have to make them understand about the things that are important uh, so yeah why not we'll take it in four feet yeah perfect this looks all looks good Same things right over here too. All things same over here too. Then we are going to go push side, pull side. Let's see. We are going to decrease the scale at a very similar angle. Push side make it smaller, and we're going to make the scale a, a little bit bigger, which is a push side. Okay, let us see. So, this is the push side, and then this is the pull side. Here, yeah, we'll write the pull side. Okay. Same things over here too. Full side is okay. So now we do this. Okay, yes. So this is going to pull side, this is going to be a push side, and okay, this is good. This also looks good. Yeah, okay. I think uh, we are going to make this a little bit far from this so. So we can read the pull side and the push side is like uh, more important which is going to be more important so here also we are going to do the same thing we are going to rotate the text and keep it push side and pull side we'll just uh, move him a bit ahead and we are going to specify the rem ramp uh, ratio which is sure uh, 
I did run is to 12 which is required and which is compulsory so that's it I think that is enough for the for everything that is needed and yeah that's enough for everything so this is our the minimum spaces and you know dimensions that are required for a wheelchair to be accessible so yeah thank you for watching and share it with someone who may need it